We're back. The Main Street Randy Land YouTube channel. <laughs> Hooray. Oh my gosh. Well, just circling around and looking for fun things to talk about. And, you know, I always go on tangents. I think I'm going to talk about one thing and I talk about something totally different because all of these are unrehearsed and on the fly. As I'm standing here looking at the camera, I see the computerized sex tester by Urban Industries. You know, I, I believe we did an episode about that. Hmm. Can we flash back to that for a segment? You know, I have two of these operating in the arcade right now. And people say, well, why would you have two? I, I don't have two, I have three, and probably four, because they're fun. And this glass is actually a little different than the glass on the ones I have in the arcade, because this has numbers, okay? The other ones in the arcade aren't numbered, they just have the, the indication. So it's definitely a different print. The uh, picture of the circuitry is the same, but it's a little bigger on this one. It's a little smaller on the other ones. But this is, you know, they, they make different models and they change things as they go. So everybody should have at least three Urban Industries computer sex testers. Then, you know, I turn on the other side of what's going on here and I see The Mask. Do you remember the movie The Mask? What was that, Jim Carrey? You know, and he had all those, those kind of morphed faces with the big eyes and the tongue and all that stuff. Well, it was a fun thing. So they made, they tried to make games that people would relate to from the movies or something that they knew from TV or some kind of star. And they pay, they pay for that. They got to get, you know, clearances and they're paying for the royalties of the use of the artwork and all that stuff. So uh, this company is making from Data East the smoking mask and it's a coin pusher or should i say a coin roller and it's probably easier to move this here and i'll show you ah. you see here in the center of the machine this turns around it's like a wheel and it's turning and you're putting your coin in here and you can aim it you can turn it back and forth and it will just roll down and you're trying to get your coin into a higher number some are fours, some are two, and you're trying to accumulate tickets. Now, at the end of the wheel, see that? There's the mask. If you get the coin to roll into his mouth, well, that would be the jackpot. That would be indicated here on the machine at the LED score. And the jackpot probably increases as people play. So the idea is to roll it down going over the hump and land into his mouth. Of course, if it goes on either side, that's a miss, and you don't get anything. So, The Mask was an interesting game, and I'm sure the people played it and they enjoyed it. Um, I think a lot of The Masks um, met an early demise because of the motor, which was constantly spinning, and uh, the motor was probably expensive and became unavailable. So if you add that along with board problems and other issues and then upgrading machines, probably a lot of these got destroyed. But I have two of them here. I know I have another one somewhere. I don't even know what's in these boxes. What's in these boxes here? Oh, how cute. It's poo. Look at that. It's poo and little piglet. These are finger puppets. And here's Pooh Bear and Eeyore. And here's Tigger. And it's Mr. Sanders' tree here. You see his little honey bucket. Oh, oh, we just lost Pooh. Get back in there, Pooh. Get in there. Arr. All right. What else we got here? Uh oh. Another Randy costume. This was when I was doing different varieties of game show. Here's a gold lame uh, Randy jacket. And I probably oh, this one's in black shine. Yeah, don't want to wrinkle them up. This is black shinies, See? just like Las Vegas. So, different costumes that I've worn or would have worn if Flipper's Fascination had continued. So it's just in the archives. Space Duel boards. See that? Set of boards for Space Duel. And it says it works. Well, it worked the last time I was there. See that? Looks like I got this on eBay. Wow, no wonder I bought it. I only paid 36 bucks. Can you believe that? Boy, I got a deal on that. You know, you, you couldn't ship it for 36 bucks today. 
Yes, I'm old. Now here's another, the mask. And I think you're gonna recognize the difference. Look at the mask. Look at the mask. When I got this one, somebody had stolen the mask. You see that? So, <laughs> I figured, well, how hard can it be to make one? Now, this was before I had Randy heads. I probably would have put a Randy head in there. <laughs> but that's my head. I took a cardboard box with some plaster, all right? And I put a baggie over my face and I shoved my face in a baggie into the plaster like this. I shoved my face in there and took my face out, leaving the impression, you see? And then I poured in a different compound so that I could come out with a head, you see? And uh, of course, because my eyes didn't get covered with plaster or whatever, uh, the eyes didn't come out right or the nose. So I put sunglasses on them and I just stuck my finger in to make a hole for the mouth and tooled it in and notice how I did the hair and I made a, a mask. Isn't that pretty good? I think that's pretty good. It works. Now nobody would know that unless I showed you that. You see, these are the inside stories that nobody knows about. And then you see something uplifting like that, then you, then you have a sad story. Now you see this here? You know what that is? When I tell you, you'll know. Maybe a big piece will show you if it doesn't rip. You see that? That's from Volcano. Volcano, my pinball machine. The glass peeled. Now this happens sometimes worse than others. This is a really bad example how it really peeled. This is the this is the paint that was actually put on the back of the glass that just peeled off. Now sometimes they use different processes. They use, you know, screen prints and uh, you know, on vinyl and whatever, you know, different um, translucents right now, but um, I think this was more like a big decal and it delaminated from the glass and here's the glass and it is really it's it's a mess can you see it from the back here now this is a double glass the outside glass is fine the inside glass you see it says Gottlieb down there the glass has delaminated completely down to plain glass I mean that's heartbreaking because the volcano had a beautiful glass with the red lava going around. And it would go volcano, shoot vor volcano. Now the outer glass is in pretty good shape. It's starting to peel a little bit here. See that? Starting, but the most of it is there with the, you know, pterodactyl and things like that. They're pretty good. What do you do in a case like that? I did find another glass. I have a glass for it and it's brand new and it's in the box. So I will be able to restore this machine with a brand new glass. But things happen, like this big shot here. I mean, it's a much older glass. It has a little bit of delamination in the big shot words. That's common where the heat from the bulbs would get it. But sometimes the whole glass will just disintegrate and there's not much you can do about it. The black hole underneath it is in fine shape. And they're the same age, they were stored in the same positions, but one delaminated completely and one is fine. So you just don't know, this is the way it is. And, and, and the longer you save things, unfortunately, the more you risk stuff like that. And there are people who are making a business out of making reproduction back glasses, but they're not cheap. They're probably three, four hundred dollars for a reproduction back glass if you can get one. And they only make certain series and they make a, a limited supply and when they're sold, they're sold. So this is part of the effort in when you preserve machines because people don't realize 
Things disintegrate just in time. My, my place here is sitting for 25 years. 25 years ago, everything here was in better shape than it is now because it's just sitting and things happen. So it'll take a little bit of doing to get everything back together again and going if and when comes the time. I'm given a green light. I can finally open the retro museum for people. But until then, things sit and they were all ready to go 25 years ago. Things change. So with that note, we will say, we'll see you next time from the Main Street Randy Land YouTube channel. Your jacket's a little askew, mister, here. This is Randy in his Main Street jacket. You see the Disney buttons? You see.